salama brothers and sisters salama 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 uh, who are the band two people i'm putting out these videos because we don't know when youtube is gonna shut so remember these videos take these videos share them take the information remember them we do this because the most high has allowed us okay now the number 12 is the number of government the number of government the messiah had how many disciples 12 we have 12 months in a year okay if you follow the gregorian but i'm just saying 12 12 means government 12 means organization and right now remember we have the 12 tribes of israel okay we have the 12 tribes of israel and we get 12 bantu kingdoms 12 bantu kingdoms i saw this uh when did i see this uh it was in 2013 when i was researching there were 12 bantu kingdoms 12 bantu kingdoms and there's a brother who did that video and youtube uh took it down <laughs> uh, the brother i think was from cameroon he was from cameroon uh but i remember because i've studied bantu history i knew some of the kingdoms some of the kingdoms i didn't know but there were 12 bantu kingdoms so what happened those original 12 bantu kingdoms disintegrated because of the european and arab slave trade the europeans were coming uh the arabs were coming they were, they were taking slaves from all over and then what happened some of those kingdoms broke the broke off the f clans were formed as you know albanto people even until today we are not united tribalism different clans different chiefs rose up jealousy among the tribes things like that and what happened is they started going down so this is the story of the bantu people okay the the place you call israel is northeast africa remember this northeast africa there was never a middle east it does not exist there was never a middle east because what happened is when they created the state of israel uh what did they do they cut the suez canal they cut the suez canal and they created northeast africa sorry they created israel which is northeast africa you can look for a documentary online israel is northeast africa and i salute the brothers from the uh from the ben ami group i met one of the one of the brothers uh in in a university good brother he's a bantu from the lemba tribe uh but he was doing teachings under ben amin uh ben, if you guys know ben amin he's got a, a camp in uh demona he's well respected and yeah so anyway they created northeast africa sorry they cut northeast africa and created the middle east if there's the middle east where's the middle west you see what happened is the maps that they gave us were europeanized islamicized uh they were changed and cut and everything so because they knew who we were and they didn't want us to, to to discover who we were okay but now the funny thing is when the europeans were coming into bantu africa they were studying our languages they knew these people why because they have the bible and the prophecy of the bible is beyond the rivers of ethiopia 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 beyond the rivers zephaniah chapter 3 from verse 10 to verse 20 you can also find it in isaiah chapter 18 from verse 1 to verse 7 the people beyond the rivers of ethiopia ban two ban two these are the people now you will find a bunch of people what groups us together is our languages okay um when we moved to south africa because my parents uh, speak swahili 
I could understand a bit of Zulu and I could understand a bit of Pedi and Tswana and things like that because from the Swahili languages okay now my parents also speak Lingala my mom speaks Lingala so I could understand Tsonga because I, I saw Lingala words and you can go anywhere you'll find words are similar and we speak with tu 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 ban tu tu way tu be tu <laughs> things like that that's how we speak and what also groups us together is our culture now what has happened is over the years because of the mixing some bantus mixed with other groups and we were never supposed to mix because we, we, we were the hebrews because in Africa you find Bantus and you also find Nilotic people. The Nilotic people are the people from the, the Great River Nile. Okay? And we are very different in features. Very, very different. Nilotic Canaanites and all these things were very different. But of course, they were intermarriages. We, we did mingle and mixed. That is why you find... Um, yeah. But we were never supposed to mix. But even today, you'll find Bantus marry Bantus. Not only Bantus, but even in your clan, you'll find certain Bantus. For example, I'm from Congo. I'm from the Luba people. You know, some Lubas will only marry Luba. Some Mukongo will only marry Mukongo. Muswahili will marry Muswahili. And you know why? Because the Bible would say, the Bible says, take a woman from the tribe of your dad. It's still practiced today in our Bantu culture. For example, I'm from the Luba tribe. Say, for example, my younger brother marries someone. God forbid, he passes away. I, I can marry his wife. That thing is in the Bible. And you can go, not only uh, Luba people, everywhere. You'll find Bantu still practices in the villages. You can marry your brother's wife if your brother passes away. It's a Bantu culture. It's a Hebrew culture. Everywhere. You go to the different Bantu uh, villages. It's still practiced today. The things we see in the Bible, we see in our culture. Do you understand? So now, there were 12 Bantu kingdoms. I'm going to name you the kingdoms. Remember these kingdoms. And this is where slavery came. That took, and of course, the, those kingdoms fell. But one time, years ago, we were all called Congos, with a K. Okay, it's, a, it's with a K. Congo with a K. Uh, today, it's part of the C, uh, because people don't know the history. Because all Bantus come from the Bakongo people. All Bantus, technically, we are Bakongo, all of us. One day we'll understand that. We are all Congos. If you are Bantu, you're a Congo. Okay? In fact, the president of, of Congo was in South Africa last week. And you'll find there was a, a Bantu tribe in South Africa who, who told him, we are from Congo. Anybody who knows the history knows Congo is the mother. Do you remember the song by Juma Fela? Congo, Mame, Congo is the mother, Congo is the father, Congo is the center where the Bantus were coming from. Because we were in Northeast Africa, uh, Canaan, okay, and we started moving. Now you'll find in my language, there's a place called Kananga, it's Canaan. So we took the name and came down. That is the history. Other people have a different history where they say that it was all, always in Congo and but I won't d debate them. But what I know is, we were in Northeast Africa. We moved down. And we created kingdoms. Bantu. Twelve Bantu kingdoms. Listen to this. The first kingdom was Congo. K-O-N-G-O. -O. The kingdom of Congo. Don't spell it with a C. I will explain probably in a, uh, another video why. The Kingdom of Congo. Number two, Luba. L U B A. Three, Lunda. Lunda. L U N D A. Four, Bamileke. Bamileke. B A M A 
l e k e bamileke 5 makoko m a k o k o 6 bamun bamun b a m o u n 7 uh kuba k u b a kuba and the tribe of kuba was spoken about in a movie tarzan kuba ya kuba kuba after kuba we have um uh burundi the kingdom of burundi b u r u n d i burundi the kingdom of burundi then we have uh mwene mutapa mwene mutapa m double m w e n e mutapa m u t u p a mwene mutapa that's where zimbabwe there was a great kingdom there mwene mutapa mwene mutapa mwene mutapa after mwene mutapa there was shangamaya the kingdom of shangamaya c h a g a m i r e shangamaya 12 12 kingdoms uh congo lunda luba bamileke makoko bamun uh burundi mwene motapa shangamaya uh Kuba, uh, yo, I did this a couple of years ago. Uh, there were twelve. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I I I forgot the other two. Luango, yes, Luango, Luango, L O A N G. O Luango L O Luango and they took many slaves there also L O A N G A Luango thank you Holy Spirit yes and the last one Ngola Matamba Ngola Matamba Ngola Matamba N G O L A Matamba M A T A B A Ngola. That's what we Angola. Ngola. Do you remember in Israel the Golan Heights? Golan. Gola. Ngola Matamba. N G O L A M A T A M B A. The twelve. There were twelve Bantu kingdoms. What happened? The Europeans came the arabs came they took slaves from all those kingdoms some of them ran down the zulus came down and they came to attack the zulus but also and because when the when the, the south african bantus came down remember there were many bantu migrations but they came as the nguni people and then the nguni people broke off until today the nguni people you can study about the nguni people they broke off the osa uh the zulu the twana uh the pedi uh you know the swati these are things i did years ago but the holy spirit just brought back in remembrance you know they broke off and, and they settled everywhere do you understand now some bantus did mix with canaanites and with the pygmies we were never supposed to mix some of them mixed like you'll find in america we were never supposed to mix with europeans some of them mixed some of them it was out of rape uh, some of them were raped and you know that's that's how history is they were raped and things like that but i would advise you in this time if you want to marry uh, if you're a bantu you want to marry outside your race i would advise you no marry a bantu person and according to the bible normally you must take a woman from the tribe of your dad but if you fall in love with other bantus hey
hey you have the same blood the same dna but according to what the scripture says take a woman from the tribe of your dad but bantus do marry among themselves so i'm just giving a word of advice i'm not a marriage counselor or a marriage expert okay i'm just giving what the bible says out of wisdom marry a woman from the tribe of your dad but marry a bantu that's what i'm trying to say so i've given you the 12 kingdoms the 12 tribes like this you know and remember this video uh salama